And what we're trying to do is validate the person behind the keyboard is real. Mm -hmm. So if we identify the person as 100% confident that it's not a real user, that's something that you want to tag your form with, you know, prevent them from filling out the form, you know, not let them click on an AdSense link. You know, you have the data in real time, so now you have to act on it. Mm -hmm. And our job is to help our clients, you know, and every client's a little different, you know. Some people are doing lead gen, some people are doing e-commerce. Uh, we've got clients that are doing logins, you know, where basically they don't want, because what we'll have is they'll have bots log into their system and game their system all the way through. And, you know, a lot of these are, let's say, ad supported. So the user or the bot is now being exposed to all this banner advertising. And those banner advertisements are now being seen by a bot. So the end client's not getting any value out of it. And that becomes a problem for, for our client. So we want to protect any asset that needs to be protected has to be done in a way that's different and unique for each client. So our goal is to help them identify where the fraud is, where it's coming from, and then come up with a game plan on how to deal with that so that they can effectively eliminate it in real time um, versus uh, looking at all the data after the fact, after the damage is done, the call has been made, and you realize all this waste of money and time. So we try to do that in advance, make sure it gets done up front. 